What's up, everybody? For the winner, Tachi here. You know what it is, and thank you very much for tuning in to another episode onto the YouTube channel of youtubecom for the winner, Tachi. This past Friday and Saturday was BlizzCon 2017, and for those of you that follow me on social media, which you can find down in the description box down below, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, you'll be able to find tons of uh, basically I've been leaking stuff onto it's not really a leak because it's already been announced but I basically give you guys updates on my social media so go ahead and follow us there um, but I was away I was not I was releasing videos my daily up, uh, uploads were still going on but I wasn't live streaming um, but that's basically why I've been gone I've been at BlizzCon um, I also got the virtual ticket from a friend of mine so I'm rewatching all of that right now as well all the panels and cool stuff that I missed because I got some cool BlizzCon videos coming at you guys um, in these next upcoming days and basically I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys updates on every single game so we got Heroes of the Storm, we've got Diablo, we've got Starcraft, Overwatch, Hearthstone and of course last but not least World of Warcraft now I'm not gonna be diving deep into detail on everything that happened at BlizzCon um, you got like basically um, the engineering panel which they dove deep down into like uh, how their hardware and all their software and all that stuff goes on I'm not gonna be talking about that I'm gonna be giving you guys Basically, quick and easy to watch videos on all of the updates with all of the games, which we all want to know about. And then I'll also give you guys a couple of top five videos that I've uh, got planned as well. So in this episode, as you can basically guess from the title and the playlist that this is in, uh, we're going to be going over the goddamn Nexus. Heroes of the Storm, which I haven't played in a very long time. Heroes of the Storm uh, version 2.0 has been released this past year. They gave us some cool updates on basically what's been going on this past year and updates on what's been going on that's going to be coming out soon. So without further ado, I'm going to be going ahead and play the hero trailer, um, which is going to release the Dragons of the Nexus, uh, which I remember if I am recalling correctly, that's what it was called. And um, there's two different types of dragon type heroes coming out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and live react to this one and check it out. Alrighty. Here we go, fam. So I've seen this already, because I've been at BlizzCon. And it gave me goddamn chills. One of my favorite characters in World of Warcraft is coming to Heroes of the Storm. And she looks fantastic. Alex Straza. And your boy, Hanzo Mains, loving life right here, fam. He looks so wimpy, though. His arrows do squat against Alex Straza. But when you in, Over when you in Overwatch, Hanzo Mains, you know what's up. You don't even have to hit the hero, they still doing damn beastly damage. But Alex Shaz is making this guy look like a wimp. But you'll need to do better than that. You have no idea what I am capable <laughs> of. Good. Because you must be ready for anything. She's an actual dragon, so it's not even fair, Hanzo. It's not even fair, bro. You control the dragons, but you don't control Alex Shaz a bad. Look at this, beast! Oh, dude. Not even funny. So, as you guys can already tell, Hanzo and Alex Shaza come into Heroes of the Storm. We we'll dive deep more into, like, their abilities and stuff later on. So, without further ado, we're going to continue on with this trailer. It is absolutely fantastic. Hanzo doing his goddamn space bar. Freaking spamming arrows over here and hitting them, but... Not doing much. And we, we all know what to expect. That Q is coming out pretty damn soon, isn't it? Hanzo, you've been working up your Q ability. Your heroic. Here it comes, fam. It's going to be coming out soon. And we all expected it. <laughs> and it does some damage to Alex Straza. She's like, whoa. This guy controlling dragons like a pro, fam. So, I mean, I guess that did some stuff to Alex Straza. I, I wouldn't expect it. She's a goddamn aspect, but for cinematic purposes and to make Hanzo feel pretty damn lit. They had to do it. But there's nothing really wrong with Alex Straza. Nah, nah, fam. Hanzo, come on, bro. She let you win this round. She just wanted to test your abilities to see how cool you are. Just wanted to see, just to see what you're all about, Hanzo. Well done. Look how undamaged she is. But greater challenges still await us. I believe we are ready. I still feel chills watching this, man. 
I don't play Heroes of the Storm. I played it such a long time ago. But god damn. Cinematics for Blizzard. It's just next level, bro. And they give you the like the peaks of like the different type of battlegrounds that are going on and all that stuff. So Hanzo can basically prepare himself for the new realm that he's now in, which is the Nexus. Absolutely amazing Heroes of the Storm cinematic that was. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into another, uh, it's basically a trailer. It's a BlizzCon 2017 announcement trailer for uh, Heroes of the Storm. And then we'll dive deep into more of the heroes themselves that will be coming uh, for Heroes of the Storm. So without further ado, let's dive in. Toy born in, fam. I am Hanzo Shimada. All right, so Hanzo, we already know. He's coming in. Dude, Hanzo looks pretty fun to play in this game, too. Woo! Straight arrow, so you get to see the actual range that he's going to be hitting. So we got voice chat. All games are getting voice chat. Trust me on that one. New camera display. So we used to be zoomed in. Now we're zoomed out. We got lane in improvements as well, which is definitely going to help the flow of the game. Self reworks. We used to not be able to see the stealth characters, but now we get to see them a little bit more. Evolved Battleground mechanics as well, so we get so much more. Basically a revamp to Heroes of the Storm, and of course the new heroes of Hanto as well as Alex Raza. So, so much is coming in to Heroes of the Storm, and they had a great announcement trailer for us, which we are watching right now. Alex Raza, I mean, this is making me want to get into Heroes of the Storm, so if you're interested in seeing some hot gameplay, go ahead and hit us up. In the comment section down below, let me know what you guys want to see in Heroes of the Storm. Because I haven't played in over a year. Um, but we also got the new skins as well. So that is definitely hype right there. But Hanzo and Alex Strasse, that is an epic duo to release the Heroes of the Storm. So without further ado, let's dive on in to what we can expect with Hanzo, the Master Assassin. Once heir to the Shimada Clan's criminal empire... Hanzo abandoned his birthright after he almost killed his younger brother, brother, and which is Genji, for those of you that don't know. He now strives to perfect his skills as a warrior and sees the Nexus and its endless conflict as the ideal training ground. Basically, we get to see his uh, damage utility as well as survivability and complexity levels. Uh, he is rated as an assassin. Uh, he's got some heroic abilities and some primary abilities, which we're going to be diving into as well as a hero trait. So his primary abilities is Stormbow. Activate to charge an arrow that deals 270 damage to the first enemy hit. Stormbow's range increases the longer it is channeled. Reactivate to fire. Simply exactly how it is um, within Overwatch. So Scatter Arrow, another ability that is coming directly from Overwatch. Fire an arrow that deals... 85 to the first enemy hero it hits. Scatter arrow can collide with terrain and structures, splitting into five arrows that travel and deal extra damage. Ricocheting up to four additional times and deal 85 damage to each, basically, first encounter that it strikes. Sonic arrow. Fire an arrow that grants vision in a large area for eight seconds. Enemies inside are revealed for one second if Sonic Arrow lands directly on an enemy. It deals 150 damage to them and follows them as they move. So Sonic Arrow pretty much simply from um, Overwatch as well, where it basically, the areas and basically spots of a location on a map that you cannot see, Sonic Arrow will basically make them visible with extra cool utility of dealing extra damage and following those that get hit. Heroic abilities of Dragon Strike. After 1.5 seconds, summon a pair of Dragon Spirits, which travel forward, dealing 52 damage every 20.25 seconds to enemy heroes in its area. Enemies in the center take 150% damage. Dragon's Arrow. Fire a missile that travels across the battleground. Explodes upon hitting an enemy hero dealing 100 damage to all nearby enemies and stunning them for 0.5 seconds. After traveling a medium distance, 
the damage is increased to 200 and the stun duration to 1.25 seconds. After traveling a long distance, the damage is increased to 350 and the stun to 2 seconds. So the longer that dragon's arrow reaches, the more damage and stun that is going to be affected. But Dragon Strike definitely looks epic to be using in the Nexus. Next up, Alexstrasza, the Life Binder. So Alexstrasza, the Queen of Dragons, was empowered by the Titans to be the guardian of all life of Azeroth. She has aided mortals time and again, even at great personal cost. Now she soars across the Nexus, protecting life wherever she finds it. She is a support hero, so that's why I'm very interested in playing Alexstrasza. Damage, utility, survivability, and complexity can you can find there. She has some heroic abilities, primary abilities, and hero traits that we'll be getting into. So primary abilities. Gift of Life. Sacrifice 15% of Alexstrasza's current health, which makes sense. Healing an ally for 150% of that amount. Dragon Queen, Breath of Life, cooldown, greatly reduced, and does not cost health. Abundance. Plant a seed of healing that blooms after 3 seconds. Healing nearby allies, heroes, for 20% of their maximum health. Dragon's Queen, Perseverance, healing area, and amount greatly is increased. Flame Buffet. Launch a fireball, burning enemies, hit for 75 damage over 5.5 seconds. Hitting enemies that are already burning deals 125 bonus damage upon impact. Slow them by 40%, decaying over 2 seconds and refunds the mana cost of Dragon Queen Wing Buffet. So we got Life Binder, which is one of the heroic abilities for Alexstrasza. Bind Alexstrasza's life force with an allied hero. After two seconds, the hero with a lower percentage of health is set to the same health percentage as the other hero. Also, Cleansing Flame. After 1.25 seconds, take to the sky and drop five fireballs over six seconds at the position of the mouse cursor. Fireballs deal 150 damage to enemies and deal allied heroes for 300 health. And heal allied heroes for 300 health. Wow, okay. Two seconds after dropping all fireballs, Alex Joshua lands in a position. The mouse cursor. That sounds absolutely amazing. So, Heroes of the Storm with some great updates for us. Um, got questions? Hit us up in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for some more BlizzCon videos. Don't forget to check out the description box. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and peace out.